Hey, Mike McGrory here. This is going to seem kind of bizarre, somebody doing a, a video on a wheelbarrow, but this is really important because if you are going to do any work at all with a wheelbarrow or somebody you know, I'm going to show you how to use a wheelbarrow and not hurt your back. First of all, you have to start out with a good wheelbarrow. Construction wheelbarrows, this is a Jackson wheelbarrow. Um, I don't like doing commercials for Jackson, but, but it, it's a good wheelbarrow. It's well built, it, it's heavy duty, but what's really important, when you compare the wheelbarrow that you have or if you're shopping to, for a wheelbarrow, take a look at where the wheel is in conjunction with the tub. Here's the tub, this is where all your weight's gonna be. Notice that this wheelbarrow, the tire and axle, <coughs> excuse me, are underneath the tub of the wheelbarrow. That's important because then the weight is on the wheel. A lot of wheelbarrows, the, the tire is out front and all that weight ends up on your hand. So that's that's important. You know, and this wheelbarrow is more expensive, but it'll last you a lifetime and it won't hurt you. And that that's you know, so again, this is what's really important is where that tire and wheel fall in conjunction to this tub. If you shop around, you'll see that some wheelbarrows, this is way out front and all of that weight ends up on your back. I got one more tip for you. Okay. Now, I've loaded this wheelbarrow up, and I, you know, I have taught dozens and dozens and dozens of people how to wheelbarrow. Believe it or not, people have to be taught how to wheelbarrow. And the very first thing that people try and do when they load a wheelbarrow, they load, load it just like you see here. And actually, we got a little bit of a low spot here, it's higher back there. All of that weight is on the handles. So when you load a wheelbarrow, take all this soil from the back and, and move it up to the front like this. You want this wheelbarrow loaded as heavy as you can get it towards the front. Now, I've got a big void back here and that's the part that's gonna be on my back. This part up here is gonna be supported by the wheel. Same amount of soil, but a huge difference in how hard this wheelbarrow is to handle and how much strain there is on, on your back. So, I hope that, that somehow you find a way to make this information useful because it, it makes a difference when you're pushing a wheelbarrow all day long. Thanks a lot.